David, an impressive win and performance tonight. Are you happy with that? No, right now I'm actually quite angry. Um, I've just watched one of our brightest talents get a, a tackle that I thought was wrong. Um, I thought it was the you know, time of the game when the, the game's gone. And I don't think there was anything for that to happen. We've now got somebody sitting in that dressing room, Alex Lowry, who has got a real showman. A real showman. So I may have talked to the players and I want to talk about how good the performance was because it was a really strong performance. Um, but right now my emotions are more about actually concern of Alex for, as I say, a tackle that's, I've watched it back and it's, um, it was wrong. And it was wrong at this time of the game for sure. Can we get an update on Alex? How's he doing right now? I won't have that just now. That's something that'll be checked. The medical team's looking at him just now. But I see a guy in there in pain. Um, as I say, football happens. You're going to get tackles for that situation. Not for me. Um, not for any of us. I just think it's way beyond the line that I think was appropriate for that time. Um, if the game's still live and somebody puts a tackle in because you've, you know the situation it is, but there's minutes to go, it shouldn't happen. Looking at the performance, it was a strong first half and second half. To set the tone of the match on seven minutes, that must be particularly pleasing from your point of view. It was. Um, you know, well, yeah, listen, we had a really strong performance tonight. But, you know, we scored seven excellent goals, obviously one was a penalty. Alex has got the hat trick. You know, you've seen signs of Alex Lowry being at the level that got him in a situation where he was getting close to our first team. and He used a slow burner this season because he was coming for an injury at the early part of the season. Um, today was opportunity to get more minutes in the pitch and these are the reasons why we had them in these, these games so that eventually it gets to the point where the first team will back up and say, right, we're ready to start looking at them again for contention. But as I say, that's, that's a sore one tonight. A big plus for tonight, I have to say. You look at our two centre-backs who have played against a real challenge in centre-forward and, and John Gemmell and you know, anything around the box is a threat. I've known John for a number of years and know how effective he can be and I'm so pleased that them two have stood up to what was a real challenge for them tonight. And, and um, to get a clean sheet again at the end of that. I know Bud's a couple of saves to make as well, but we knew that would be the case. We would have to defend. So, real strong defensive performance, real positive, purposeful attack and play, excellent goals. Um, and, you know, the, the, it's difficult when you get a point in the game where you think the players might come off it a little bit. They didn't. They kept that going. As I say, the only bit now I've got is just this feeling of um, real concern for what's happened to Alex. As you said, it was a very physical demanding strain on the back line tonight when they had to, did have a few opportunities. To have that other level of opposition come in, that must be really key for you guys to utilise moving forward. Uh, listen, we've played against a team who's at the top of League Two. They're, they're a team that have been really good this season. I think one four out of four. So we knew there was a defensive challenge tonight. We knew that. And but also knew we'd, you know, we'd, we'd have time in the game where we'd have a lot of control. So there was two sides to a game that was taking part tonight where we knew we'd defend. Um, we knew we'd be threatened in a box, whether it be from you know, open play or, or, or set plays and you know, throw-ins, etc. We knew there was going to be a threat. And as I said, early in the game, I think there were some four or five throw-ins in the first five minutes that landed in a box. So we knew that it was going to be challenged. And as I say, I'm just so pleased that, that the players have stood up to that challenge because it was a, they had to defend. They had to defend. And I'm so pleased that they managed to do it because we've been, had different challenges at different points this season. We've lost goals in the second half. Um, but tonight, I said they just stood up to it really, really well. I'm so pleased for that as much as I am for the, the control we had, the, the, the threat that we had, and, and obviously the goals that we scored at the end of it. As you've mentioned, we have seen in previous matches where the game has changed in the second half. It seems that the boys have learned from that moving forward in tonight's game. Yeah, well, they have, well I wouldn't say they've learned from it because there's, there's many more games to take place this season. Tonight, there was a, a, obviously a positive, and we've had some changes tonight as well. You've got players in there tonight that need minutes, and it's the only opportunity you can get them to play in, in this type of game in terms of Stephen Kelly and Matt Sikowski. So I'm pleased for them to get nine minutes under the belt. I'm pleased for You've got Charlie McCann in there, um, besides Stevie Kelly, and both of them showed a, a great level of maturity and control. So, in terms of the, you know, I wouldn't always put it down at one game, suddenly everyone's, you know, we've, we've sorted a, a, a challenge. We'll face that challenge again. That's going to be something to deal with, and it's as much a mental challenge as a football challenge. So, but tonight was a good night in, in terms of the result, but obviously a frustrating night in terms of obviously what we spoke about already. Moving on to the next round of the competition. That must be really pleasing for you guys, especially with such an impressive scoreline tonight in performance. Yes, um, we really enjoy this competition. We did it over the last couple of years and uh, we knew tonight was going to be a, a tough game. And we know each game that goes by, it goes by now, sorry, whoever we get drawn against will continue to be challenged. But these are the games, you, you enjoy them. You enjoy them, you know that you come up against teams who will, will you know, cause us problems. And if we knew tonight if we weren't on our game, um, we could easily find a game that was difficult, we could have lost it, that, that wasn't the case. We, we hit the heights in both defensive and attacking sense and um, as I say, I'm so pleased that the, the guys have managed to reach those levels in both senses.